Hello and welcome to another edition. This is a review <laughs> of my guide to collecting. I always try to have a toy or an item on display when I do these. So this time I want to talk about um, brick and mortar stores versus online stores. As you know, uh, yesterday, well, yeah, yesterday was Cybertron Monday, <laughs> and um, a lot of stores got their inventory up. Uh, a few days ago, Toys R Us had some toys out, and I'm guessing that's like if people are ordering and they want to pick up at the store, they want to have the product available for the customers. But it also defeats the purpose that on the, I think it's on the 17th, on Saturday, all the stores, brick and mortar stores should be carrying Transformers uh, for toys. Now, even though I sell online, I don't really like shipping. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's something that you pay for it to be comfortable. Like, if you do toy hunts like me, you know you're going to be out and about and you might find the item you're looking for. But if you don't have the time to go out and toy hunt, sitting at home, ship, uh, paying shipping may be the best option. So there's no good or bad one. But I prefer going to the store and uh, buying the toy. So I won't be participating in any Hasbro um, Cybertron Monday sales. Maybe Hasbro Toy Shops ha has free shipping. So I might buy something from there. Walmart has the option where you could buy a leader class figure and then get a scout, I think, for free or as uh, cheaper. At like 20% off. I haven't checked um, Kmart or Toys R Us or Target. But on Saturday I'll be... I might pick up some toys. The ones I like, I've already mentioned. But another benefit of online stores is that sometimes if, if you're getting into line late, I usually get into line because it's, I find a lot of them cheap. That's how I got into Halo, how I got into Marvel Universe, and how I got kinda into um, Transformers because I picked up a lot of Transformer Prime figures. But if you're looking to fill out holes in your collection, checking out online stores uh, is the best option. I think I helped out um, one of my subscribers by pointing him to Gundam Store and more. They had the Cybertron Red Alert for like nine bucks, nine ninety nine. So that, in one way, that's the benefit of internet stores. You should just Google the product you want and see um, what it comes up. And if it's a store that you don't frequent often, I know Big Bad Toy Store gets a lot of people. They have a lot of sponsors on on review channels. But you can check places like Hobby Link Japan, Gundam Store, and more. I think there was another hobby store located in the U.S. There's Image Anime. Um, one of the worst is Toy Wiz. <laughs> They might have what you're looking for, but it, the price might be inflated. It depends if you want to check there or try eBay or Amazon. So, to conclude, I like brick and mortar. For me, brick and mortar is better than online stores. But to complete your collection, use an online store. I'm Aries0083, and I'll see you guys on the flip side, on the dark side of the Cybertron moon. It's ginormous. Bye.